I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. Apple's iPad Pro is hands down the most powerful tablet on the market designed with freelancers and content creators in mind. It can edit 4K video, it'll be able to run Photoshop, and it can game with absolutely no problems at all. The only issue with the iPad Pro is the port availability. It features one USB-C port for charging and accessories, creating the need for endless expensive dongles just to transfer data from your camera or plug the iPad into an external display. And how do you charge the iPad when a dongle is using the charging port. Enter the Hyperdrive, the world's first USB-C hub for the iPad Pro. What is going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlive.com. If you're into tech and gadgets, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned today, I am telling you all about this gadget right here. This is the Hyperdrive for the iPad Pro. If you're interested in the Hyperdrive for iPad Pro, I will leave a link down in the description below to where you can pick one up for yourself. This is a USB-C hub that plugs right into your iPad Pro that extends the abilities of that single port and allows you to plug in a host of devices right into your iPad. If you're looking to get some serious work done on your iPad Pro but find you don't have the ports available, this is the device for you. Let me tell you more about it. The Hyperdrive hub features HDMI, USB-C, micro SD, standard SD, USB-A, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The USB-C port can be used for data transfer or you can charge your iPad Pro while using the other ports at the same time. This is incredibly useful for professionals, especially people who might wanna edit videos or photos on their iPad Pro. You can plug in your SD cards to input footage, edit on an external display, and plug in headphones all while charging your iPad Pro at the same time. Now these are all things that were previously not possible even when buying different adapters and dongles from Apple themselves. Now, one quirk I should mention is that the Hyperdrive's HDMI port maxes out at 4K at 30 hertz, so you can't view 4K 60 on external displays. That said, the iPad Pro itself does support 4K 60 output, so if you do need that higher frame rate, then you may wanna stick with one of Apple's dongles instead. Taking a closer look at the Hyperdrive, it features specialized grips that secure the hub onto the iPad Pro without interfering with other accessories like Apple's keyboard folio. This patented grip makes sure the hub is secure on the iPad and doesn't wobble around, preventing the chances of data loss from sudden disconnects. It works with or without the keyboard and the grip can be easily removed to work with other cases as well. The Hyperdrive is made from precision milled aluminum and comes in two colors to match the silver and space gray iPad Pros. In my opinion, this has a much cleaner look than any of Apple's stringy white dongles and is compatible with both the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pros that are currently available. Talking about pricing, the Hyperdrive comes in at 99 bucks and that's obviously cheaper than the $117 you'd have to spend on three separate dongles from Apple, which won't even give you all the same functionality you get from this. The Hyperdrive USB-C hub for the iPad is the best dongle solution for anyone looking for an all-in-one hub, has every port you might need, and allows you to charge your iPad while using it. And once again, if you're interested in the Hyperdrive for iPad Pro, I have a link down in the description below to where you can pick one up for yourself. Now, if you're looking for a device like the Hyperdrive, I assume you're an Apple product owner, you own an iPad at the very least. If that's the case, be sure not to miss the video I recently did on the new second generation Apple AirPods. I tell you about the top five new features that Apple brings to the table with the newest models. I will leave the link up here for you as well as down in the description below. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webbers, and I will catch you in the next video.